What is up, guys? It is Zach Bloche, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a fun, simple Python package called PyAuto GUI. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. And with this, you can automate different tasks on your computer using only basically uh, mouse movements, clicking, and keyboard actions. Uh, so let's dive into this. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new folder, uh, PyAuto GUI example. And then I will show you how to do some stuff. So Pi Auto GUI, let's see how to get started here. Open this up with your VS Code. Nice. Let's open up our terminal, do all of the basic setup stuff. So pip v shell. Whoops. Oh, wait. Why did I type that in PowerShell? That's disgusting. No one likes PowerShell. All right, uh, here, wait, I'm going to close. Well, that was probably not good for my computer, but I want to work inside of command line. So there we go. That's my fast command line, pipenv shell right here. Let's create our virtual environment. Then we're going to pip install um, PyAuto GUI. So pretty simple. That will get created. Done skis. All right. So pip install pi auto GUI. And we're going to build, um, let's see, what kind of an automation can we build? Um, <laughs> So I can show you just some simple stuff. Um, OK, so I'll keep this open here. I'm going to create a main.py file, main.py, like that. Uh, and in our file, interested in seeing API usage examples, blah, 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 blah. OK, so I'm going to say from, or uh, yeah, from pi auto GUI, now that we have it pip installed, uh, import click display mouse position. Here, wait, let me make this big so you can see it. Uh, so click display mouse position, um, type right. And um, honestly, I think that might be all we need. And possibly we might want to have the built into Python time module just to, so we can basically stop our project every once in a while when, if, when and if we need to. Uh, so let's see how to use this. So we're going to start off with this click function. So click, of course, controls your mouse position and um, immediately clicks in a certain spot on your screen. So uh, to find these coordinates, though, uh, you will need to use this display mouse position function. So let's actually go ahead and run that. And uh, even better, let's run it down here in our command line. We're going to say pi if you're on Mac, Python if you're on Windows, or uh, I said that backwards, pi if you're on Windows, Python if you're on Mac, and uh, from pi auto GUI import display mouse position. Now, why he wrote in camel case, I could not tell you. But we're going to use this anyway, mouse position. Uh, oh, OK, so why didn't it just install pillow then? All right, so we're going to pip install P-I-L-L-O-W, pillow, for managing images. Say pi. Then we're going to say pi. Uh, nope. <laughs> Django. Pi, pi auto GUI, import from pi auto GUI, import, uh, display mouse position. Display mouse position, run it. All right, cool. So now, as you can see, whenever I move my mouse, the numbers at the bottom also update. So if we put this on the top left of the screen, it goes to 0, 0. If we put it on the bottom right, x is 1919, y is 1079. That's because I have a 1080p screen. And uh, I guess that means it's 1080p by 1920. So let's see. So we find some position on our screen. Like if I want to click on this uh, reflector icon, or let's say I just want to open up dollar per hour calculator over here with my shortcut link, um, I would enter these coordinates. So that's going to be essentially 1850 and 300. 
So I can say click 1850 and 300, save that, whoops, save that, press play here. And boom, so my mouse automatically jumped there. Just to show you, I'm gonna press play, take my hand up, my other hand, and boop, boom, it clicked on dollar per hour calculator. So that's cool. If you wanna do more than one, like let's say we wanna click like here, 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 and here. Um, I mean, in that case, you would just, <laughs> you'd have to run this same from Pi Auto GUI, import display mouse position like that, and do that again. So normally you'd probably write all of these things down like as you're doing them. So you would just keep this running while you keep writing these things down. So this one is roughly, um, yeah, so it's still about 850 just to 175. So we can just copy this, say uh, 1850 to 175. Um, oh wait, yeah, reflector, which is at just, 50, that's good enough, click 50. Um, if you wanted, you could even put this in a variable to make it more meaningful, but uh, let's just do this. So let's press play, see what it does. And let's see, oh wait, right. Uh, now we'll need to do it, God damn it. Okay. boom. Now let's press play, whoops, exit this. Press play once again, boom. Well, wow, that was extremely fast. Okay, I didn't even see it. Press play, boom, boom, boom. Okay, yeah, so it does it super duper quickly. If you wanna see that in slow motion, uh, I'll just put time.sleep between each of these. So like this, sleep for one second, boom, like that. Press play. That was, uh, that was still fast. Okay, time.sleep. There we go, that's slow motion. Perfect. All right. Yeah. So we went boop, boop, and boop. Uh, so that's a really basic one. And the other one, of course, is type rate. Uh, so let's try the same thing. But instead of doing it here, we're going to open up our little friendly Google on the side. So we're going to go to Google, or move that to the right, bring this guy here. Boop. And we're going to say, ah, yeah. So as you can see, if you make your terminal too small, it'll so, uh, if you make it too small, it will start doing this uh, crazy little um, terminal show for us on the side. Uh, yeah, so it just starts like duplicating itself, which is really interesting. So um, let's see how typewrite works. So typewrite is the third little function we got right here. I don't even know why I have that open. Um, boom, all right, and yeah, when you make the terminal bigger, this craziness stops. Um, so we have type right and click. So let's put our mouse over here. Type right is how you insert text. So this we can put like 400, 450, and 520. So click for, oh wait, what did I say? 450, 450, and 520. 520. So it's going to click, then we're going to type right. Um, what's something to Google? How to use Pi Auto GUI. That's a good one. So let's save that. Oops, wrong button. Save and go here. And let's see if it works. Bloop. Nice. All right. So that's done. Um, there is a way for it to press enter. Um, let's see. So type right. Uh, what is it? There's, I think there's also one called hotkeys or hot, hot key, hot key. Then if you say enter, I think that'll work. Let's see. Let's press play. Yeah, there we go. So hot key is how you put in like a shift or enter or F1 or whatever, <laughs> something like that. Um, and essentially that's how that will work. So um, that's an extremely basic example. Of course, you can apply this to a lot of stuff. Uh, this is actually just a short video because my power went out when I was recording how to my GitHub tutorial with GitHub, uh, with Git and GitHub CLI. So um, yeah, with these few simple 
tricks of using display mouse position, click, typewrite, and hotkey, you can do most things with GUI automations on your computer because what else are you going to do besides just clicking, uh, sleeping occasionally, like with time.sleep? So that just pauses your program in case something needs to load. Um, and uh, the like. Yeah, other like other than pressing enter and using your keyboard and clicking, there's really not that much else. Now, this package does have more than only this stuff. You can also um, do things like, uh, well, the author of this package basically made it to where it could play video games and do something based on uh, like taking pictures with images. And um, I don't personally know how to do that. I've never gone that far. But if you are interested, I will learn it and I will teach it. So that is the video for today. If you like the content, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, I will be making more videos every single day for the next 88 days at minimum. So thank you for watching. Bye for now. Boop. Stop the Zoom and peace.